Welcome back to Morgan's video blog, Morgan's online blog in video format. Today I'm here to share with you five writing tips for making fantasy seem real. So if you ask a group of writers how they approach any part of their writing um, process, you're gonna get as many answers as there are writers and sometimes more. Today, I'm reviewing a discussion by a group of writers on how to make fantasy seem real. Now, no matter if you prefer to write a story based on reality with just enough fantastic elements to make your story work, or if you create your world from the ground up, or you do a little bit of both, and no matter if you're a pantser with no magic system or a world builder who adds the characters later, or a white rabbit chaser till the end of the plot. When you look back and realize that everything happens in white rooms, um, or your approach jumps around from world to world, these tips for writing fantasy worlds should work to help you draw your readers in without invoking their sense of disbelief. Here they are the top five writing tips for making fantasy seem real from the Balticon 52 panel of the same name. Tip one, keep it internally consistent. I know, Morgan, you say this all the time. It's still true. The effort, think about it this way. The effort used to invoke the magic in your story and the scope of the magic should match from spell to spell, no matter the scale. You don't want some huge elaborate incantation with all these expensive things to turn your shirt from white to pink when, you know, it takes one word to end the world. Tip two, look at the economics. If magic gives someone or some bodies an ability, someone else is gonna come up with a way to either counter it, sell it, or steal it. Tip three, make sure your character's motivations make sense. And not just to you, they have to make sense for them and for the world in which they live. Different norms and cultural expectations exist in different times, places, social classes, and worlds. Tip four, avoid anachronisms. Just like a dollar bill in ancient Rome, you don't want to throw people out of your story with things that don't seem realistic for a certain technological age or location. Things like check the weaponry in your story for both the time period and the place. Stew takes four hours to cook. You're probably not going to cook some while backpacking. And one more thing, even if you are right and that thing or is possible and happened in that time and place, in its real world equivalent, if most people don't think it could have happened, even if they're wrong, you're gonna pull people out of your story. You might just wanna leave it out. Of course, there's a caveat. There's always a caveat. Ignore this tip when it comes to diversity. People in the dominant culture tend to paint everything in their history with a brush to match themselves. The real world isn't usually that compartmentalized. And tip five, if you can't be true to a period, right around the edges. There are always fringes of society where the norms break down. If your character doesn't fit in, there's usually somewhere they can go if they're willing to pay the price. How much are you willing to give to enthrall your readers with your world? 
These notes were from the Balticon 52 panel, making fantasy feel realistic. The panelists were Leah Cypress, Lisa Hawkridge, Brenda Clow, and Jean Marie Ward. Do you have any favorite tips for making fantasy seem real? Anything I missed? Feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and tune in next Thursday for more writing tips and writerly musings. See you then.